Thank you, Alexa. And I'm excited to see your generation forging new connections to our past and uh, shining such a bright light into our future. And I'm also grateful to the National Italian American Foundation. <laughs> John, Robert, you've, all, you've helped so many people experience our heritage in Italy and preserve it here in the United States, so thank you. Buonasera, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to the White House. When I was a little girl, I learned what it means to be Italian-American in my grandparents' tiny, well-worn kitchen. And not only because there were ribbons of pasta, homemade pasta, and sauce bubbling over on the stove. No, the most important lesson that I learned in their kitchen was that when you're Italian American, there's always room for one more chair at the table. <laughs> Enough bread toast to feed one more guest. Enough space in our hearts for another friend to become like family. And even when times are hard, there's, <laughs> there's always enough time to enjoy the pleasures of life together. My grandparents also taught me to never waste an opportunity to invite more people to the table and make a difference together. So I knew I had to bring those values of love, abundance, and service to the White House as the first Italian-American First Lady. That's why I've used this platform to give more women a seat at the table in discussions about their own health. To hear from military families about how we can support them, to uplift community college students, and I've had the opportunity to bring so many more people inside the historic walls of the White House by creating new educational experiences that allow more Americans to immerse themselves in this house, the People's House by using these rooms to celebrate the young people who are changing our world, by honoring the immigrants who helped build this country. And tonight, thank you. And tonight, gathering with this community, my community, to celebrate our culture. <laughs> So it's been the honor of my life to serve as First Lady. And during my time here, I've often thought of my great-grandparents leaving everything they knew behind to chase the promise of America. And then when they arrived on Ellis Island to take their first strides into a new life, I don't think that they could ever have imagined that a group of hundreds of Italian Americans coming together in the White House. When our roots run deep, there's no limit to how high we can reach. So tonight, I hope that you feel the power of our ancestors' values beating inside of us as we carry their legacy forward that you feel home, you feel at home, eat good food and end up with a little something sweet together as a family. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce a man who's always felt at home <laughs> with Italian Americans. <laughs> In fact, Joe first met my family at a big cookout at my grandparents' house in Hamilton, New Jersey. So I was pretty nervous, you know, about Joe coming to meet my family. But as soon as Joe pulled up into the driveway, and you, know, you can picture this, my tiny grandmom bolted out of the house, bounded down the porch steps in her house coat and her apron, and she gave Joe this huge hug as if she'd known him his entire life. 
And before he could even get a plate, Joe was greeted not as a stranger, but as family. Over the years, I've seen the Italian-American community extend the same joyful love and support to Joe. You mean so much to him. <laughs> so please welcome. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so much. <laughs> 